compete. You see the focus. You feel the energy. These guys are ready to go. The sun setting over the busy metropolis of Houston, Texas. And that's where we're coming to you from tonight. Thanks for joining our Tuesday night broadcast of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. And we got a chance now to check out multiple seasons of assist numbers and what has been the trend for Harden. And the trend that he's going through with his assist numbers dropping over the past few years isn't a good one. I don't want to say he's become a more selfish player because that, that's too harsh, but he's become a little too concerned about finding his own shot rather than creating for his teammates. Uh, he may want to rethink that. And before we get going, let's hear from David Aldridge John on the sideline. David? Well, guys, Kemba Walker is a multiple-time All-Star, but from his first seasons in the league, stardom was not assured. Even he said, I never saw myself playing at this level. There were times I didn't know if I even belonged in the NBA. I guess you could say I'm surprised. Now, Kevin, every player has those doubts at the beginning, but few overcome them the way Kemba has. David, he's come a long way. Thank you. Our great guards tonight for both teams. Did you ever spend any time in the backboard at, at any level when you were playing? No, I was a ball handling forward, Kevin, and it served me well, but I was not a guard. I was a forward that could dribble and pass fairly well. So you were ahead of your time because that's all we see now in the NBA, right? Guards are not always bringing the ball up. Yeah, you know, somebody just mentioned that to me, um, Kevin, that I was maybe a tad ahead of my time back in the late 70s. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Walker in smart, the guards. Daniel Tice out there with Williams. And it's Tatum in at the three, the small forward. And for the Rockets. Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. Robert Covington out there with Green. And it's Tucker in at the center position. And Covington sends it back. Green inside. It's deflected. And he's able to get it back. Smart against Harden. Smart goes in. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Very rare for players to be elite defenders from the moment they set foot in the NBA. But that was the case for Marcus Smart. A, a tremendous physicality to go with a pit bull disposition has made him downright scary at times at that end of the floor. And that one falls for Smart. You know, Greg, defense are given for Marcus Smart. The growth necessary for him has been at the offensive end. And now, finally making progress as a three-point shooter. I had already made strides with his passing. He's becoming quite the two-way player. And so, Smart nails both of them. And some of what Smart gives this team doesn't always show up in the stat sheet, but, but he makes plays that help you win. And Westbrook gets it to go. Yeah, going hard to the rack, making a statement here early on. Yeah, that's how he rolls. I mean, intimidate the opponent right now. Westbrook against Walker. We play just over a minute here in the first. Here's Smart. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. For a guy who's still working on his range, love to see Smart attacking on the interior. Now Westbrook. 35 points for him last game against Utah. Takes a three. And that one is off. Now Boston takes it the other way. And this is the first season matchup for them against this Rockets team. 
Yeah, and a bit of a revenge game for them as they were swept in the two-game season series from last year. And, you know, they might not be in the same conference, Greg, but as with any top team, they want to show they can compete with the best teams out of conference, too. Here's Westbrook. Jason Tatum picking up that last basket. Westbrook passes to Covington. He's looking for Tucker and finds him. And the first shot of the night for him, no good. The Celtics have gone two or three here to start out the game. Shots good by Walker. You know, even though Walker is just 6'1", he may not be that tall, folks. He is a creative scorer in a hard matchup. Great at making the defense pay inside. For Houston, they've gotten only one of six shots to drop for them to start this game. Here's Westbrook. Falls through. He's now made two of four. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now, here's Walker. A 32-point game for him in the win against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. To the paint. Here's Tatum. And Covington sends it back. That'll be Boston as it goes out of bounds. Celtics retain possession. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes played. And they get it back. Harden outside. Over to the left wing. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Rebounded by the Celtics. They want to keep rolling here following the win against the Thunder. Yeah, and, and that one, they just locked it down defensively. Challenged shots and, and really protected the rim. Well, I tell you what, I think you got to really appreciate the grit. Getting dirty, staying engaged. That's really what defense is all about. Yeah, terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the contact. That's exactly how it should be done. Get the bump, concentrate on the shot, and you'll get the bucket, too. Well, Clark, the All-Star break is approaching. Commissioner Silver has broached replacing it with a mid-season tournament. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, you know, I love what Adam Silver has done as the commissioner of league. He's very forward-thinking. He's very progressive. He's very open-minded. And this is one of those examples of that kind of thinking. You know, in European basketball, it's part of the landscape. And it seems to work fairly well. I'm interested to see where this thinking goes going forward. But I like the fact that it's been broached by the leader of the league. Now here's Westbrook. He's a guy we see deliver on a nightly basis, averaging about 24 and a half points a game. Another miss by Westbrook. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Tipped away. Here's Tice. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Westbrook up top, guarded by Walker. Westbrook can't get it to go. You know, his scoring efficiency has been low, and it's not helping them on the scoreboard. And Covington sends it back. Fires for three, and it's Russell Westbrook with the three. Westbrook's got his third bucket of the night. Whether he's attacking the basket or squaring up from long range, Westbrook is always dangerous. Now, here's Walker. And we know he can score. He's averaging around 21 and a half points a game. Lock at six. And here's Tatum for three. That shot off the mark. The Rockets go the other way with it. This game coming after a loss against the Jazz. Yeah, for that loss, you can credit their defense or lack thereof. Too many breakdowns on that end of the floor. Yeah, and that's really inexcusable. I mean, there's just no way that you can justify that. When you don't put the work in on defense, you're going to end up on the losing end. And here's Walker following Russell Westbrook's three. Over Westbrook. Walker's shot is off. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. Covington wide open. He fires, but he stays with it. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. Already it's February. Hard to believe. Let's see how the West is matching up. You look at the Rockets. They're sixth right now in the conference with lots of time to make a move. And seeing where the Rockets are, they've stayed right there 
just in sniffing distance of the conference leaders. That's a solid accomplishment at this stage of the season. You know, I thought maybe they'd have it in them to actually join those leaders this season. But you're right. It's still nice work considering where they are. Tatum kicks to Tice. Williams with the ball. His last outing, he had eight points. Stolen by Tucker. Bobbed up there for Westbrook. In an incentive alley-oop jam. Man, you got to admire how easily Westbrook takes over games. I mean, an offensive juggernaut who is tenacious when it comes to scoring. And now, the first time out called here for Boston. Well, you, you knew after the Paul George trade that the Thunder would look to sell on Westbrook as well. Just part of the rebuild at this point. His agent did well to get him to a team looking to compete. A great fit for a player in this stage of Russ's career. And let's bring up a list of some of the NBA's hottest players. Among shooting guards, these are the leading scorers over the course of the last month. James Harden, number one. And it's his explosiveness that jumps right out at you. I mean, he exploits gaps in the defense better than any player in the league. If there's an opening, he'll find it. Yeah, and you need that kind of burst from the off-guard position. And boy, does he ever give it to him. I mean, he's a constant threat and a potent weapon. Now, here's Walker. Here's Tice. They can't stop the run with that one. Stolen by Walker. Finish off the break. Walker's got his second bucket of the night. Blinding speed. Walker can be an unstoppable force in transition. Here's Westbrook. He's got 12. Outside Covington. Back to Westbrook. Covington finds Westbrook. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Westbrook's got 14 points for the game. Unselfishness always admirable in a basketball player. And Covington consistent at giving it up when one of his teammates is open. Floats one. Westbrook with the block. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Westbrook. Eric Gordon, he's checked in for Jeff Green. And the Celtics also making a change. Brown's checked in. He makes the eight-footer. And the Celtics lead by three. Brown extremely accomplished down low and worthy of respect as a result. Destroys whoever tries to guard him in the paint. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for the Houston Rockets. Let's a floater go. And it's good on the way in. 16 points for him. You know, so far he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. Walker against Westbrook. And Walker kicks to Tatum. Back to Walker. Now, here's Tice. Defended by Covington. Shot clock at five. Here's Walker. That one wide left. Hey, how about imagining if they were hitting their shots, how big the lead could be? But so far, that's not been the case. Westbrook rejected by Walker. Brown with it. Westbrook picks him up. Brown trying to free himself up. Walker's shot is off. It's Covington on the wing. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Boston's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Walker in the corner. Let's it go with a three. Walker missing again. Rockets trail. Here's Westbrook. Great D that time from Tatum. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. He's so explosive around the basket. Williams, when the pass is on target, expect him to finish with the rim wrap. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Celtics leading by three. 
knocked away. It's Brown on the wing. Defended by Covington. Brown kicks to Tice. Let's it go from deep. Good work defensively by Harden. And for Houston, they're shooting 33% here in the first quarter. And the jam by Harden. Ferociousness from Harden. Looking like he wants to tear the rim off. Now, here's Walker. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And a chance to take a look at some numbers for Brown. And the stat to look at is his steal total over the last five games. He's been focusing more on his defense, trying to be a disruptor. And it's made them a lot tougher on D. Now, here's Gordon. He's coming off a 10-point game against Utah. With some arc, here's Tucker. And trying for the go-ahead basket, it doesn't go in. And here's the fast break. Walker leading the way. A putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And the Celtics lead by three. And, folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. From deep Harden. And Boston with the rebound. Williams has got six rebounds now in the game. Well, you know, for so long, Mike D'Antoni has been a vanguard on NBA offense. His teams have always played great offense. Moving, spacing, dynamic players. Um, defense has not been at the level of offense, but I think he's actually improved as a coach in that area as well. Here's Walker. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. So for the Rockets, Tabo Cephalosha has checked in for Robert Covington. Damari Carroll comes in for James Harden. And it's Rivers in for Russell Westbrook. Rockets trail by three. Rivers scanning the floor. The Rockets with another miss. And Clark, part of it for Dan Tony is that he is delegating defensive duties. Yeah, and I like that, Kevin. He's made sure to have a defensive coordinator on his staff delegating that role and responsibility. Uh, he thinks and knows that his team is better off that way. And so it's Houston with it. Outside Gordon. Pass to Rivers. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by Brown. Celtics leading by three to the wing right side. Hayward left side. Shoots over Carroll. Misses off the right iron. Now when he came into the league, Eric Gordon was tagged as a shooter. Now he's been shooting more than ever. And Gordon the last few seasons has been shooting how about this? Over eight threes a game. His success rate with them has gone up and down over the years. Take but one thing is for sure. He always has the green light. First free throw is good. Well, Eric Gordon is the kind of player that you absolutely do not go under on a screen. He'll pull up from deep. Yeah, he's got great range, and you watch the form of Hoosier shoot, and you see how much he uses his legs. Gordon's liable to take a shot from any distance in the gym. I mean, he's got that kind of range, and his form is very efficient, and his confidence is sky high. Now, here's Brown. 14 points from him the last game against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. Six on the shot clock. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one's on Eric Gordon. And the vertical that Brown has is uh, quite impressive. As relentless a finisher that you'll find in this league. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. No good on the free throw.
is no good. Just doing the job on the backboard. They sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space under the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, it's one thing to box out, but you've got to pursue the ball if you're going to get rebounds. And um, they look strong here in the early going. Austin with the ball after Eric Gordon's miss. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And for Houston, they're shooting a lowly 30% to start this game. Out. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Hayward on the wing. Shoots over Carroll. Again, the miss by the Celtics. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Celtics lead by one. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. Now a chance to hear shooting guard Eric Gordon talk about their key to winning. It's all about not making mistakes, getting rebounds, and getting good stuff to really push the pace up. And I think when we do that, we always are at our best. And Greg, nowadays, it's all about pushing the pace. And it's an offensive-oriented league now. When, when you execute and really look to attack, it puts the opposition on their heel. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And the Celtics guys, what jumps out to you, stats Well, in that first quarter, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. Yeah, and it's worked. They've got a clear edge and points in the paint. Now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding it inside. On the floor for Boston. Brown and Hayward, they're the wing. Then it's Ennis Cantor, and it's Poirier in at the center, filling out the middle. Rockets trail by three. Rivers kicks to Carroll. In the corner, it's Gordon. Hayward against Rivers. Here's Brown. Count it. His second make in four attempts. They are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. Here's Gordon following the basket by Jalen Brown. Misses the baby hook. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Here's what the Houston Rockets schedule looks like. On Thursday, they'll be playing against Draymond Green and the Golden State Warriors. And then on Saturday, they'll be matching up against Mike Conley and the Utah Jazz. And looking at the Grizzlies matchup, this is a game that they are expected to win. But sometimes those are the kind of games where you get a little bit sloppy and start looking ahead. Either way, they'll need to put in tremendous effort to walk away with the victory. And the first one drops. Mark, you were so good at such an early age in your basketball career. At, at what point did you personally realize just how far the game could take you? You know, it really resonated with me, Kevin, I think um, at a summer basketball camp at Miami of Ohio when some of the better campers, high school campers, were asked to play with the college guys at night. And then during pickup games in my hometown of Cleveland with some of the Cleveland Cavaliers, Jim Jones and the late Terry Furlow and Mike Mitchell and being able to compete somewhat with those guys at 15 and 16 years of age and having them encourage me to keep going and that I'd have a chance to do what they were doing at the time, which was play pro ball. The shot's good from Cantor. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. You know, they need to stay aggressive here. Build the lead up while they've got the chance. Don't waste this opportunity. Here's McLemore after Ennis Cantor's basket. McLemore, the pass to Kira. Now here's Rivers, guarded closer. The pass to McLemore. And they get it. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Here's Wanamaker. He's guarded by Rivers. 
Carroll against Hayward. Back to Wanamaker. Just four to shoot. The three. Cantor's shot is off. Rockets trailed by five. Here's Rivers. A three-pointer off the mark. And so Brown will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. Inside, Cantor. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Cantor's got four points now in the quarter. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Well, once they recognized the advantage they had inside, it made a lot of sense just to continue to attack that area. Now that's how to finish the break. Throw down with force. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. What? You, you mean the throw down at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. Not much resistance from the defense. Easy play that time for him. Celtics leading by seven. Brown outside. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Brown jams it in. Brown with that amazing athleticism putting on a show out there with jams like that. Houston's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Now here's McLemore. He's covered by Brown. Green kicks to Rivers. Sinks the three-pointer. Rivers has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. It's stolen by Green. Here's Carroll. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. You know, when Carroll's running the floor like this, he's really hard to keep up with. Great to see. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for the Celtics. Tell you what, guys, they're showing us a lot of energy early on and racking up those fast break points. And also, defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight, and, and that also builds confidence and gives you momentum. You know, a rugged, experienced player, the shooting and defense Carroll provides is really what makes him so valuable. Here's Wanamaker. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Hayward can hit. And he's trying to shoot his way out of it. You know, they have the lead, but honestly, I, I think it might help if he'd be a little bit more selective tonight. And Hayward with the block. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And the Celtics with possession here. Cephalosia finds Carroll. Pass to Rivers. And he finishes nicely on the way. Rivers has got five points so far. The Celtics have gone six of nine in the second quarter. Some good work from the field. Outside, smart. Drills the three-pointer. And the Celtics lead by four. And, of course, this is Smart's biggest hurdle. Sometimes he looks great shooting the three. Sometimes, though, it's just the opposite. Carroll, no one around him. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Here's Hayward, and Hayward with the stuff. Now, how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? <laughs> a nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Yes, indeedy. Well done. The Rockets have gone 5 of 11 from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. You talk about players that have transformed their bodies in the NBA. How about Gordon Hayward? Has added muscle every year while maintaining that speed and agility. Yep, you know, after a scoreless first period, he's really turned it up a notch, building some momentum. Outside, smart. And the Celtics hit again from deep. The real 
come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. You know, Greg, when he came into the league, Hayward looked so young. You almost don't recognize him now. I mean, the suit of armor from his time in the weight room and the hair looking sharp to match. Beyond the clock, here's Rivers. A rebound by the Celtics. Fourier's got four rebounds now tonight. Nice shot by Smart. He's got 15. Yeah, nice play by Smart. Under control in transition. Something also he's improved on. Rockets trail by eight. And here's Rivers. He's got eight. And Cantor pulls it down. Boston's gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. Smart with the ball. Hooked up by Rivers. Smart passes to Cantor. Puts it up from seven. Again, the Celtics good for two. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Houston's gotten half their shots from three-point range to go down in the second quarter. Three of six from downtown. And finish shot by McLemore. Oh, forget about going for the long-range bomb to cut into that lead. Just take it to the hoop, my friend. And how brilliant throwdown. Exercising his authority. Now a timeout called by Boston. Clark, it seems that guards are rebounding now more than ever. Uh, what do you make of that trend? You know what, Kevin? I think it's a function of how the game is played. More and more teams play small ball where they really don't have a big guy out there or a traditional center out there. You may have guards and wings, and oftentimes your tallest guy might be 6'8". So it makes it important for guards and everybody to rebound the ball. So I think you see more guards getting more rebounds because of teams playing small ball as a function of the three-point shot's importance in the game. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Well, you have to give credit to Kimball Walker, who has always found ways to improve his game year after year. That has worked on that shot and tool set enough where he can now be a handful to defend for any guard. good from Kemba Walker and with Walker as he has progressed as a player you know, Greg so has his leadership and Kemba has been a natural leader for so long during his time when your leader puts in the work that Kemba does it has to inspire the rest of that roster and slam dunk by Tatum yeah I tell you what Tatum really good Kevin at getting out in transition and taking advantage of what the defense gives you Now Westbrook, he's got 16. Walker with some nice D. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebound has certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. Yeah, good job to take it right at the D. Yeah, really left him no choice there, Greg. I mean, he had to foul and keep him from converting the easy bucket. The Rockets have gone three for three at the line tonight. And really, they haven't been able to differentiate themselves from the free throw line on the season at about 76%. You know, their percentage has dropped off just a little bit compared to last year, guys. But it's not a huge drop off, Shoot so two. no major concern. The first free throw is good. And Russell Westbrook is as explosive a guard as we've seen in the history of the game. An incredibly gifted scorer who can also punch it on you. The Rockets making a switch here. Tucker's checked in. And, 
and both free throws good for Westbrook. Here's Walker. Seven points in the game. Passes it to Tatum from deep. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Seven points for Jason Tatum. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. A bit of pride at stake. Trying to get that last three ball back, but couldn't get it to fall. Walker with it. Westbrook picks him up. Deflects the pass. Here's Williams, and there are the Celtics with another basket. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Westbrook with it. He's got 18. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. Numbers this year at the line below 70, so when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as you'd like. And, guys, this has not been a season to remember Shoot for him two. at the free throw line, certainly to this point. And he can't get the first one. That's a great job getting to the line here. You know, he didn't have a single attempt in that first quarter because I thought he was tentative. Much more aggressive here in the second. Good on the second free throw. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Yeah, I don't think it's an accident that aggressiveness correlates with playing better. So the aggressiveness is starting to pay off. Now here's Tatum. He's coming off a 16-point game against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. And he was relentless in that one. I mean, he wanted to be the first to every rebound and almost was. Here's Gordon. 17-point game. Knocked loose. And pushing it up, here's Boston. And slam dunk by Tatum. You've got to be careful around Tatum now. If you're not paying attention, he'll take that ball away from you quickly. 71. Now, here's Westbrook. 19 points in the game. Gordon with no one around. And he's good on the three ball. Gordon's got five. They're having more success from three-point range here in the second after a rough first quarter from deep. Walker surveying the floor. Kicks it to Cantor. Back to Walker. Yes, it's good. Good for basket number four. He's now four for ten. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. Here's Westbrook. Kemba Walker making his last shot just a solid performance on the interior the rebounding has been off the charts yeah you look across the board it's actually sizing up shaping up to be a great game I mean strong performances throughout and they've really been strong on the glass and you could tell he thought he had a little more space but the defender was right there you know that's a trademark of his defense quick to react close down the shooter and then affect the shot Oh, big time put back there. What a great motor on this guy. There is no one who goes after those rebounds harder. And night in and night out, that's what he provides. 55 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Here's Westbrook. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. Kemba Walker picks one up. And you know Westbrook has an outstanding vertical. Once he gets to the launching pad, rim, beware. He's made three of his four free throw attempts in the game. Some changes for Boston. 
Daniel Tice is checked in for Robert Williams. And it's Brown in for Marcus Smart. Mind the lane. Mind the lane. One shot. A free throw off from Westbrook. Well, the book, Greg, is the same for Ennis Cantor as it's always been. Great score inside, but his defense leaves you wanting. And Kevin, at this point, he is who, who he is. Oh, oh, my yeah. goodness! Oh, yeah. What a play! Nice. And Harden, an absolutely vicious dunker. Terrific at bouncing towards the rim for the epic throwdown. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Walker finds Brown. Good D by Harden. I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. Celtics leading by 14. Brown outside. Here's Tatum. The shot's good. Brown making the play. And that's 13 points for Jason Tatum. Boy, Brown, not just a super athlete, folks, but he's got excellent skills as well. A tremendous floor general. And here's Harden for three. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. Marcus Smart, he's feeling it tonight and has been a driving force for the Boston Celtics. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Here with head coach Brad Stevens. Coach, what did you think was the main edge you had? Well, I thought defensively we were a lot better, um, and then that led to some offense. But obviously, we're playing a bunch of skilled guys, and we're able to spread the floor, and that's helpful. You have to make them work at both ends. Thanks, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, and welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson here. If your name is Shaquille O'Neal, raise your hand, please. If your name is Shaquille O'Neal, raise your hand, please. I guess Shaq's not here today. If your name is Kenny the Jet Smith, raise your hand, please. And I'm Kevin Harlan. We saw Marcus Smart lighting it up in the first half. He ended up with 15 points and four assists. Kenny, what's your take on Boston so far? What a true demonstration of dominance. They made a commitment to owning the glass, and they made good on it. Blocking out, competing hard in traffic, that's the way you should play on both ends of the court. Shaq, how'd you think the Rockets were playing? Well, they're obviously facing a hot shooting team tonight. That combined with a lackluster effort on defense, recipe for disaster. Really. Without major improvement defensively, this game is O-V-A. Over. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter is set to begin in just a few. And after a very lopsided first half, We'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Well, you look at Russell Westbrook in this game. He has been everywhere. In that first half, he was a hot knife, and the defense was butter. Sliced right through them. Well, you know what, guys? My question is this. Who's he going to posterize in this half? You know, we've already gotten a number of filthy dunks out of him. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. E.J. Tucker is out there with Green, and it's Covington in at the small forward position. They're the group for Mike D'Antoni starting the second half. It's a plus-five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. And Covington sends it back. Out of bounds, Celtics ball as Boston keeps possession. No, 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 no. Walker finds Williams. Shoots over Tucker. Williams, that's good. 
Williams has got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for Boston. Westbrook. Kicks it out to Harden. Good on the triple. Harden's got seven. Now you got to remember that Harden has a quick trigger. Staple gun quick. This guy is looking to score as soon as the ball touches his hands. Pass to Smart. No good on that one. The Rockets go the other way with it. Just one for four from the field, not the way they wanted to start the second half. Harden's shot is good. You know, if you're only looking at the way he's played offensively, you'd think his team would have the lead. Here's Walker, and that one drops. He's got 13. Boy, this little fella, Kimball Walker, is a treat to watch, especially when he takes it all the way to the cup. He's got explosive speed and finishes with ease on the drive. And it's Westbrook with the ball. He brings it up for Houston. Down by 15. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. And another three for Houston. That's three of four here to start the half. The Celtics have gone two of five shooting here in the third quarter. Smart passes to Walker. And here we go. Harden heading to the hoop. Tucker forces the turnover, then immediately gets the ball up court. That's just an experienced, smart play. Left side, Walker. Here's Tatum. Nails the baby hook. And the Celtics lead by 12. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. The Rockets have gotten four of their first five second half shots to fall. 80% since the break. Westbrook wide open. He fires. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. The Celtics have gone three of six in the third quarter. 50% from the field. And so Boston again turning it over. Houston's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Covington inside the line, and the shot no good, a bit short. Boston leading by 12. Outside, Walker. Now the pass to Tice. Six to shoot. In the corner, smart with it. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Walker's shot is off. The Rocket shooting has been a little ragged, just 38% from the field. Here's Green, and that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got three assists tonight. Well, uh, they're getting stops, and they're attacking on the offensive end. And, you know, it's taken a big run, but they were able to get back into this one. Very impressive. No quit in these guys. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Mark, who do you think is the best center right now spacing the floor and also embracing the traditional responsibilities of a center? Well, I tell you, it wasn't until the playoffs of this past season that I got to see Jokic. My goodness, he is a Something, joy he? Wow. to watch. His footwork, his shot-making, his skill. And I think his passing is probably the best attribute of his game. Mm -hmm. But uh, I would put him in that category because he can make the deep three. Embiid is streaky from there. In terms of the balanced approach, I think probably uh, he could throw Carl Anthony Towns in that mix. Good name. In the corner, it's Hayward. Launches a three. Boston again missing. Rockets on offense. They're on a 14-4 run right now. Harden kicks to Westbrook. 
Harden against Smart. Houston moving the ball around. Knocks it loose. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. And now you see the 2K leaderboard. Not only have these teams caused a lot of turnovers over the last 10 games, but they've scored off them as well. Third spot, the Celtics. Just a terrific job over this stretch of forcing turnovers and capitalizing. They'd love to continue that trend. Walker dishes to Williams. Westbrook with the block. Hayward. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Rockets trail by eight. Green finds Harden. Fade away. Walker with the rebound. Boston's gone 0 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Hayward goes in. Here's Williams. Westbrook with the block. Now here's Carroll. Tight defense on him for the three. The Rockets again can't hit. Celtics leading by eight. Right side smart. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on James Hart. As tough as they get. Smart's a bulldog out there. Does a good job of drawing contact, oftentimes by initiating it. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for the Celtics. They really have it backed away from running and gunning at any point. But their they legs break. still break. look fresh. Something that's also benefited them tonight are the turnovers they forced and the points that have come along with those forced turnovers. No good on that one for the Rockets. McLemore has come in for P.J. Tucker, and it's Rivers in for James Harden. sinks the second and here are the Rockets now they're on a 14 to 5 run here's Westbrook and finished off by Westbrook that should give them a nice little jolt uh, yeah it has to they need a jolt GA and you know that's exactly what happens when you don't settle that's the result tremendous effort and a big time finish there Smart passes to Tice. Now Hayward. Down low. Here's Smart. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. 18 points for Marcus Smart. And you know, Hayward's floor recognition and composure, really impressive. Knows precisely when to pass over to the open man. And there's the call on Gordon Hayward. That's foul number two for him. Tabo Cephalosha has checked in for the Rockets. Side Westbrook. He kicks it to Rivers. Pass to Cephalosha. Like at six. Westbrook can't get it to go. And, and they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. And, and as a wing player, he was just so good at attacking the basket. I think that's a big part of what makes him special. Doesn't take much of an opening for Hayward to make his move. Westbrook against Walker. On the wing, Cephalosha. Or three, Westbrook. And Boston with the rebound. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. They host the Clippers after this game. That game would be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Yeah, the defender all over it. Greg, he got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. The Celtics have taken 10 shots from the free throw line up to this point and made six of them. And team free throw numbers really about as good as you could ask for, around 80% on the season. Yeah, guys, they can feel very good about themselves when you bring up those statistics. Impressive numbers. First one falls for him. fans are always trying to distract opposing players during free throws. 
Have you ever seen that work in, a, in, a, in an arena? No, I think it's just a nice workout for the fans, Kevin, quite <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I mean, if a guy misses, it's not because the fans have gone crazy behind the basket. It's because he shot it left or right or short or long. It's not because of the fans being on top of him, at least in my opinion. Right. And so, Smart nails both of them. Pockets trail by 13. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Oh, it's been a turbulent quarter, really rough for him. Nothing going his way, but he seems determined to shoot his way out of it. And another one in the scoring column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. And what's been impressive is that it's not been any one player. It's been a collective effort, contributions from everybody. Here's Brown, and Brown throws it down. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. For Houston, they've gone 7 for 16 in the second half from the field, shooting a bit under 50%. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, over the last few years, there's been a lot of talk about seeding playoff teams 1 through 16, regardless of conference. Now, taking the top 16 teams is a tough sell, especially for owners whose teams are in the relatively weaker Eastern Conference. But taking eight teams from each conference and then cross-seeding earlier than the finals is something that does seem possible down the road. The reward for fans might be a finals matchup with the two best teams in the league. Kevin? Interesting ideas, David. Thank you. Eric Gordon, he's checked in for Russell Westbrook. Go, go, go. Gordon kicks to Cephalosha. On the McLemore. They get it back. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. You know, guys, no denying it's been a rough patch here. I think they've got to run whatever is best in their playbook to get a good shot. And so here is Houston, 19-point game. Rivers passes to McLemore. Back to Rivers. Passes to Carroll. Shot clock at six. Fades, and Cantor pulls it down. Cantor's got six rebounds now in the game. And there are the Celtics with another basket. You know, when Brown has that jump shot working, guys, he's very hard to slow down. Nice-looking release on his shot. Gordon, and it's Gordon finishing it off. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. And so it's Walker with it who brings it up for the Celtics. They have a 19-point lead. Over to the wing. And Cantor wide open. He shoots. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. Walker's got his sixth assist on the night. Brown against Gordon. Carroll for three. Trains it from beyond the arc. Carroll's got six. Confidence in the three ball is something that has grown for Carroll. Where he has the green light to take these shots has helped. Walker goes in. That shot no good. The Rockets shooting in the second half so far about 45%. Gordon dishes to McLemore. Off target from three-point range. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. And he gets the bucket. And the Celtics lead by 21. Yeah, I think the train has left the station in regards to Walker ever being able to live his shoot-first reputation down. But as we see here, this is a guy who can make some spectacular passes. That's serving it up on the platter there. What a nice pass. A high percentage look was the result. Now a timeout called by Boston. Well, one thing you've got to know about Kimball Walker is that this guy can go off at any time. A dynamic score that also possesses the killer instinct. And when he gets it going, watch out. It can snowball into a dominating performance.
And the Rockets making a change here. Covington's checked in. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for Boston. So it's the Celtics now. 22 is their biggest lead. And for Walker, who stayed three years at UConn, Clark, he just keeps getting better on the offensive end. Boy, Kimball Walker is one of the most dynamic little guys we've had in the league in its history. I mean, his ability to score from outside and inside, really hard to match and quite special. He's the type of player who always is surprising you on the upside. And Hayward at the stuff. Just what they like to see from Walker. Awareness of the entire court and taking advantage of the best option. 152 left here in the third quarter. And here's Rivers. He's got eight. And McLemore kicks to Rivers. Lob pass to Gordon. And, and they've got to keep him off the glass. For a little guy, he can be a handful on the offensive boards if you're not aware of him. Boston leading by 19 points. They double-team Walker. Tatum on the wing. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Moves on moves. <laughs> Greg, that's Jason Tatum. I mean, this guy's a natural isolation scorer. Jab steps, crossovers, turnarounds, fadeaways. He's got an awful lot in his bag. Celtics have made eight of their 12 free throws in this game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Well, guys, you talk about players coming in, and with a huge impact, Jason Tatum showed he was more than ready to be an NBA star. But where do you see a player as polished and as impactful as Tatum stepped right in to be one of the top players on a top team with Boston fits their system perfectly and really the sky is the limit for that young man good on both you know there's no question about it Tatum's ceiling is really sky high now it's up to him to meet those huge expectations and I think he will here's Tucker off the mark there with the three point shot and a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one, Greg. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. Rockets trail by 19. Rivers gets a wide open look. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Rivers has got 13. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. And there's Ennis Cantor on the assist by Walker. Walker's got nine assists now tonight. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less... And so it's Harden bringing it up for the Houston Rockets. A nice shot by Tucker. And though lacking some height, Kevin, Tucker has the bounce, the reach, and the strength and attitude to do damage inside. Walker against Rivers. Left side Walker. Here's Cantor. Off target with his three. And it's the Rockets on the break. Gordon's running. And it's off from three-point range. And so it's Boston in command with a 16-point lead as the buzzer sounds. They've kept the tempo quick and the defense on its heels. And it's gotten them up big. And we'll be back with you shortly. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? 
Brought to you by State Farm. And how about the floor generalship right here? I mean, showing us why they're always in good hands when he's the man in charge. Well, clearly he's the guy that stirs the drink for him, and that's how he does it, with his dynamite passing skills. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Rockets trail by 16. A moment now to reset the lineups. Brought to us by Gatorade. All fueled up here for the fourth quarter. On the floor for Boston. Tatum and Hayward make up the two forward spots. Walker and Brown, they're manning the backcourt. And it's Williams at the pivot spot, manning the middle. You know, no matter how you feel about James Harden, you've got to respect his love for the game. I mean, he absolutely lives and breathes basketball, and that passion has driven him to become the player he is today. First free throw is good. And Clark, last year, Harden was quoted in saying, most players don't really love basketball. Well, I don't know about most. That seems a bit extreme. Maybe he feels that they don't love it as much as he does, which certainly you could understand. But I can say that very few players have the drive and determination to improve their game the way Harden has. That's part of why he's been an MVP. The Rockets shooting 40% from the field. Gordon for three. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. You know, after connecting on one three-pointer in the first half, he hasn't netted another one since. Tatum passes to Tice. Wants to get it to Tatum and does. The Rockets pull it in. Tucker's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Williams with the block. A main staple in Williams' game, that sixth sense for when to rise up and deter those shots. There's the feed to Covington. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got his fourth assist in this one. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Covington inside the line. Rebound Boston. Tatum's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Good read from Tatum that time. Saw the defense had overcommitted and then made them pay with the sweet dime. Well done. Here is Harden. Outside Gordon. Pass to Covington. A three ball. Offensive rebound. Misfires again, and the ball just refuses to cooperate with. It's a tough day so far. And here's Tatum for three. That one's not going to go. The Rockets go the other way with it. That's a two from Gordon. And that one hits back iron. Celtics leading by 17. In the corner, Tatum with it. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Walker finds Brown. All sorts of time. Tice, no good. He's got to be disappointed with himself on that one. He has got to knock those down. Here's Gordon. Some solid defense from Brown. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this quarter. Man. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without fouling. First one falls for him. Yeah, and their free throw shooting has really improved here in the second half. Russell Westbrook's checked in for Gordon. Celtics also with a sub. Smart's checked in for Jalen Brown. So he gets them both. Hey, and that explosiveness of Walker is sometimes just mesmerizing. A quick-footed guard with a superb shooting stroke to match. Now a timeout called by Houston. And the lack of rim protection top 
of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. And here are the Rockets now, trailing by 19. Westbrook finds Harden. Good work defensively by Smart. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just against his constitution. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw missing. second free throw good and they didn't shoot it very well from the line in the first half but they've gotten much better since halftime and it's helped them to secure the lead and here's Westbrook from the arc and the three ball is good Westbrook's got 31 points and with that three his second of the half he's equaled his total from before the break Williams kicks to Tice Boston no good that time either and thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. And Green slams it in. Hey, we know Harden can score, but he also has great vision. Westbrook against Walker. Outside Tatum. And it's rebounded by Covington. Rockets trail by 15. Here's Westbrook. Walker with the rebound. Walker's got four rebounds in this game. Tatum drives in. Count that one. Tell you what, that's impressive strength there from Tatum. You got to respect that. Even when you try to wrap him up, he finds a way to score. And that one falls for Tatum. Here's Westbrook. Harden outside. Out to the right wing. And here's Westbrook from the arc. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. And obviously, his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know, that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Nobody near Williams. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Covington against Williams. Feeds it to Tucker. Williams comes with the double team. Tucker the pass to Westbrook. A shot. And it's Houston with another. That's just unselfish basketball by Tucker, making the extra pass to set up his teammate. And it's Walker with the ball, bringing it up for the Celtics. 22 is their biggest lead. Unloads. Again, the miss by the Celtics. That's one he knows he should have drained. On the wing, Green. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. And that's now six points for Jeff Green. And that is a shot that Green knocks down consistently. The defense has to try harder to contest him from there. 
And Greg, when you're discussing and comparing James Harden and what he's done these last few years, you have to do it on a very historic level. He's going to go down as one of the best to ever play the game. His production is incredible, and the skill level really is groundbreaking. Easily the best off guard in the league. Shoot two. First free throw is good. Yeah, and a good job bringing that free throw percentage up here in the second half. Doing a great job at the line. And so Walker nails both of them. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. To the middle. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after Tatum against Covington. It's rebounded by Houston. There's the lob to the hoop. It's deflected. And so it looks like the Rockets will retain possession here. Yeah, it gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. Clearly a careless pass. He got away with one there. Green dishes to Westbrook. Outside Covington. Off target from outside. Celtics leading by 13. Rockets with the rebound. Harden's got his fourth rebound in this one. And the foul on Marcus Smart. That's his first foul. Houston's gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Westbrook against Walker. Here's Covington with nobody on him. He buries the jumper. And they are earning points with the jump shot now. Austin's gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. Rockets trail by 11. Let's the free fly. Back to Westbrook. And some nice passing there by Houston. Harden, that's good. It's really been a tale of two halves, guys. A slow start, but this quarter, he has really been the man. Here's Walker, and he converts the layup. Walker's got eight here in the quarter. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. I'd agree with you, and I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered inside like they have. Smart against Harden. Count it. Harden's got 15 points here in the second half. And he has started to turn it on now after that slow start. Walker against Westbrook. Outside, Walker to the paint. Here's Williams. A shot. No good. So Houston will take it the other way. And stolen by Tatum. There's the pass to Smart. Outside, Williams. In the corner, Tatum with it. Now, here's Covington, defended by Tyke. Green, count that bucket. If you allow him to get that close, you deserve to get scored on. Celtics leading by seven. Walker goes in. Whistle blows. Bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot.
Boy, you have to like how he's challenging the defense now in the second half. Getting to the line for a lot of free throw opportunities. Here's Westbrook. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got his 16th rebound on the night. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. And he's been a force on the glass all game long. Yeah, I love the way he's fighting through box outs, using his elbow. I mean, he's doing whatever it takes. Here's Tice. Again, the miss by the Celtics. It's tipped. And it's Westbrook with the ball. He brings it up for Houston. It's a 10-point game. Westbrook against Walker. Tatum wide open. He fires one. And the three off target. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Outside Westbrook. Five to shoot. Beyond the arc. The rebound by the Celtics. 22 is their biggest lead. Smart passes to Tatum. Oh, and he pucks it off the glass. Wow. Goes back up. And Walker with the layup. Walker's got 13 points now in the quarter. Watch out now. Walker always a threat to go so low spurt ability on you. Once he sinks a few, you know he's dialed in. Rockets trail by 12. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. From 11 feet away. Wow, way off on that. Fantastic positioning there to contest that one. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, he challenged the shot, and you can see the effects on the release of that shot. I mean, it turned a simple jumper into a tough one. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guy standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Looking to end his cold spell. And Williams gets it to go on the assist by Walker. And the Celtics lead by 14. One nineteen left in the fourth. And for Houston, they're shooting about 40% here in the fourth quarter. Harden against Smart. Good work defensively by Smart. The Celtics on offense. No question as to which team gave the better effort tonight. A dominant performance and an outstanding win for the Celtics. What an effort in the transition game we've seen tonight from these guys. Really pushed the ball and I think in, in doing so created a lot of pressure on the defense. Yeah, definitely had a huge edge and this is their DNA. When they run the ball and dictate the flow of the offense like we've seen here, these are the kinds of games they can have. And so it'll boost this year's win total for them to 29. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. Yeah, and Greg, when it is just a two-game season series, the team winning game one has that slight mental edge going into the second meeting, knowing they've already solved their opponent one time and only have to do it one more time. And something we've come to almost expect is greatness from this guy. Such an overall great performance it was for Walker. And the way he was able to dice up their D with his passing really made things easy for everyone else on his team. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, G, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Here with Gordon Hayward. Gordon, great effort for you guys tonight, and you get the win. We did. Uh, we guarded extremely well. All-around effort by everybody. Great game. I thought we really moved the ball. Great win. Excellent inside-out defense, Gordon. Congratulations. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that'll do it, folks.
for Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.